During MK Ultra, one of the strongest weapons used on me in order to produce a skin cancer were a brand new shirts from, I believe from Teddy. It must have been from Teddy or from Kik, I don't know. But I know that it was a German guy who stated what I'm about to demonstrate you as next causes a cancer. Anyhow, skin cancer. Anyhow, uh, I got most likely in the same store these shirts. Uh, the stuff that was used during MK Ultra, they did put on special so that I would get a hold of it. I don't even understand why people are not buying. I mean, this is crazy. Two t-shirts for just two euros and 55 cents. Cheaper than this, you cannot get. If you look at the discount, well, May 24, 2000, actually this is even what is May 23rd, 2024. And I bought this just, uh, I don't know, three days ago, whatever. It's uh, obviously July the 14th today. Uh, probably Friday, Friday I think I purchased it, uh, actually Thursday, something like that, I don't know. Um, here's the deal. The German guy, probably manufacturer or responsible for the sale at Teddy or Kik or whatever the case might have been, executive stated, Yes, but this does cause cancer. Now, I will never forget when I would keep returning home with my being completely painted black to have Nurse Yanko and others laughing at me, police laughing at me, uh, making like horrified faces like about my being completely black painted basically with a paint that is being used for a textile basically to paint the textile um, they did to me this on a regular basis before they would start washing they would do this shit to me several times and then they would start washing it with every shirt they purchased for me I will never forget this was one of the most powerful tactics involved in MK Ultra as far as skin cancer issues. So you get two t-shirts, two of them for 255. You must admit two 100% cotton t-shirts for 255. That's like a super super low price. As you see, we have a clean bucket of water. It's a big ass bucket. And we have a shirt. It's brand new. I am going to remove this paper away. And the next thing I will do is I will soak this brand new shirt in a, a water. And yes, I will turn the shirt around. to look like this from the outside then all I will do is this I estimate that it takes probably about 10 times to change the bucket before these shirts can be actually worn uh, warm bucket of water and you just let go for some time for the fabric to um, saturate itself with the water to relax itself and releases the paint yeah from the fabric basically from the fabric and you're gonna see it's gonna turn the totally 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 black 
I am surprised because this is with a v-neck shirt and if I had the other shirt I think it would have been already completely completely black so it looks to me that the v-neck shirts are less um, look you know the colorizing whatever it might be a really a problem with the paint or something like that that they are no good the shirts maybe maybe it's a kind of factory mistake or something This is also the stuff they were entertaining my mother with. They were playing with this stuff, the neighbors. And an individual by the name Tatiana Prokshel, a psychiatrist, who was really excited about the fact that, again, a V-shirt, V-T-shirt with a V-neck, uh, rather than you, like you see it, is releasing less color no, this is actually exactly the same, like the same, same fucking thing that I witnessed to during MK Ultra. Um, later, I will do the test with a with a U shirt, and you shall see the difference. However, they realized that all the shirts, obviously from Teddy's store, then in that case. They were they were no good, but I'm not sure if they had the Teddy store back then in the novel mist already, because when they did this stuff, this goes quite back in time. This is what puzzles me a little bit. But yes, they did have this in novel mist already. Uh, you know, we are talking about already probably year 2008 or something like that, way back in time. Um, for me to finish this video for now, uh, I do not wear the new t-shirts, uh, on my skin. And so what I do is I used all t-shirts like this here that you see with the holes even. And then I put over the new t-shirts. I like that system because it's all cotton and it absorbs the sweat uh, and it protects me from the new shirt possible paint and stuff like that so uh, no uh, as far as myself there is absolutely no danger of for my getting um, on my skin something poisonous i hand wash the stuff so there is absolutely no chemicals anything on it um, <clears throat> and I protect myself. I even put two shirts and then I put a new shirt on it. Uh, I wouldn't even put a new shirt on my skin if I wash one 10 times already. I still think that it's necessary to wash one more before you can put one on the skin. Um, I didn't buy any shirts. Uh, since probably 2018, 2019, let me think about, no, 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 sorry, 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 new shirts, talking about the new shirts, since 2016, so you're talking about four plus four, at least eight, nine years, I have not purchased any new t-shirts, so the fact I stated right now guarantees me that I would absolutely have zero impact from the uh, stuff I have spoken to you about. But during MK Ultra, I was covered in paint. I was covered in paint. Actually, there's a neighbor here, Peter Lin, who participated in this stuff. Uh, the thing is, they wouldn't stop doing it, even after they have seen what kind of chemicals are being released on my body and would continue to see myself black. Then it would take me to the shower and they could not even remove the fucking paint of my body from the shirts and stuff like this.